Dear ladies and gentlemen, I'm Xiaoyang Han from the Computer Network Information Center, Chinese Academy of Science. It's a great honor to be able to bring you a presentation on our work, Narrative in situ Visual Analysis for Large-Scale Ocean ID Evolution. My presentation is divided into six parts. In the background section, I will introduce the challenges and current research status of ID analysis in large-scale ocean flow fields. Moving on the workflow section, I will provide an overview of the basic structure and framework of our work. In the approach section, I will elaborate on how we talked the challenges of large-scale ocean edit analysis by integrating narrative visualization and in situ visualization approaches. In the case study section, I will introduce and discuss our application of our visual interface on two data sites. Furthermore, I will discuss our approach in the context of performance evaluation. Finally, we summarize our work. Edits are a crucial focus in ocean simulation research. Currently, the generation of time series data from large-scale flow fields results in a substantial volume of ID-related data that requires analysis. However, experts often seek structured, small-scale information from this large-scale ID data such as the characteristics of special, specific edits. The disparity in data scales poses challenges, making it difficult for users to access the ID tracking information they require. Even when utilizing high-performance GPU for calculations, furthermore, existing visualization solutions struggled to convert large-scale vectorized data into usable information sets highlighting the necessity to reduce the volume of large-scale data. Currently, there are two commonly used approaches for analyzing the evolution of ocean edits. The first approach relies on conventional post-processing visualization techniques. In this approach, the ocean flow field simulation data gen generated on a high-performance computer is initially stored on a hard disk. When visual analysis is needed, the flow field data is read from the hard disk, and the events related to the evolution of ocean edits are identified using event detection approaches. In this approach, it is essential to transmit and store external raw flow field data and subsequently conduct ID detection, tracking, and other in-depth analysis on the visualization device. Nonetheless, the most significant drawback of this approach is the disparity between the computational speed of high-performance computer and the input-output speed, leading to a severe I.O. bottleneck issue. Another approach relies on in-situ visualization. In-situ visualization involves directly visualizing the computed compute Computational result data within a high-performance computer environment to circumvent the performance bottlenecks stemming from data transmission and data I/O operation overhead. In this approach, we can directly detect and track edits within the flow field simulation data on the high-performance computer and save the ID characteristics. In visual analysis, the user obtains a set of features including ID radius polarities, pre-order, post-order, and act. However, the data that users usually require is not typically at this level. For instance, users might be more interested in visual results that are time-specific, such as how two IDs involve, when do IDs split or merge, and how long can an ID last. This complexity makes it challenging for the approach to provide an end-to-end -end visual analysis of large-scale ocean edits. Since neither approach can independently address the relevant challenges, we adopted an approach that combines both approaches and incorporates techniques related to narrative visualization. The architecture of our work is primarily divided into four components, an in-situ computing module and a workflow model a visual interaction model and a machine learning processing model. The entire system is controlled through user interactions. The in-situ computation model is responsible for identifying and tracking edits. 
It generates statistical data and high-precision streamlined images of the selected area based on user preferences. The workflow model extracts keyword information related to events, creates a keyword table, and supplies it into the machine learning processing model. The machine learning processing model primarily employs the RN and LSTM model to transform the keyword table into a narrative text description. The visual interface model offers users information such as images, text, and features from other models for visual analysis. Edit detection primarily implies a physical feature appro approach, emphasizing physical and geometry characteristics, which is widely applied in oceanograph. The specific approach utilized is the OW parameter algorithm. To implement this algorithm, it is necessary to define the normal component, shell component, and relative vorticity of the flow field at each coordinate i and for each time step g. Subsequently, partial derivatives of zonal velocity and modular velocity in two directions are computed to derive the three physical components through linear combinations. Here, u, v, x, y represent the zonal velocity, meridional velocity, zonal direction, and meridional direction, respectively. The OW parameter can be formally defined based on these components. ID detection is performed by comparing the OW value with the predefined OW threshold value for each coordinate. Typically, the region of ID that meets the criterion is the region where the OW value is less than the OW threshold value. ID tracking is primarily achieved by comparing differences in physical quantity characteristics with distance, radius, kinetic energy, and amplitude serving as the key characteristics. The principle of narrative visualization is to convert data into co coherent narratives, creating meaningful scenarios that enhance people's comprehension and the reten retention of the data. In our case, we focus on ideas as the central elements of our narrative. We depicted their life, life cycle, including their formation, splitting, merging, persistence, and extinction, or compare various ID characteristics within a specific oceanic uh, region as the storyline events. This approach helps to convert complex data in a more understandable and uh, memorable manner. In the generation of narrative text, we primarily imply the in encoding and decoding approaches based on RN and LSTM. Initially, we define the keywords related to the event and encode them for further processing. Subsequently, we define the RN and LSTM model and train it to learn the encoding order for the keywords. Lastly, the text is decoded using the learned keywords. In our visualization design process, we collaborate closely with experts in atmosphere physics who are actively involved in ocean observations and simulations. Through these collaborations, we gained valuable insights into specific requirements for analyzing ideas in the ocean. It becomes evident that ID identification and tracking are essential tasks that involve dealing with massive data sets. The, the sheer scale of the data posed challenges, leading to low analysis efficiency and difficulties in comprehensively studying the complete life cycle of an ID. Due to these limitations, experts were often constrained to analyze, analyze, on, analyze on a single or a few consecutive time steps which allows them to examine the pre-sequence and the subsequent stages of an idea at a specific moment. 
However, gaining insights into the entire lifetime of an eddy, including aspects like how many times it splits and merges, or how other eddies contribute to its formation, remained elusive. Given these challenges, the experts expressed their desire for an efficient visual analysis solution tolerated to large-scale ocean data. The solution should encompass various aspects, such as visualizing the distribution of the flow field in specific areas, tracking the evolution of edits, and providing high precision and real-time visualization and interaction cap cap capabilities. Our visualization strategy is prim primarily based on a top-to-down design approach, which comprises both global and local views. In the global view, we present high precession streamlines that span the entire ocean. The visualization allows users to grasp, grasp the overall patterns and the dynamic of the ocean's flow field. Additionally, we perform comprehensive analysis of ID characteristics across the entire oceanic, oceanic region. Through this analysis, we compare and contrast various edits and complement these findings with statistical information and textual descriptions. In the local view, we focus on displaying the detailed life cycle and the evolutionary process of specific event-driven edits. This view provides users with a clear and comprehensive visualization of events such as merging and splitting that occur as a single ID evolves from its inception to extinction. Users can easily observe these cri critical events at various time steps within the ID's life cycle. Additionally, by clicking on a specific time step or ID associated with a crucial events, users can access corresponding streamlined images, textual descriptions, and nearby time step information for in-depth exploration. Corresponding to visualization, we conducted a two-level case study. The first case involved the North Pacific Ocean data set. Our team of experts talked and analyzed all the ideas generated in the North Pacific region spanning from to, uh, to, from 1993 to 2014. Based on the data analysis, it was revealed that more than half of, of these edits had a re relatively short lifetime, lasting less than 10 weeks on average. Furthermore, the analysis indicated that uh, cyclonic edits tended to have a smaller average radius compared to the anti-cyclonic edits. When analyzing the North Pacific Ocean data set from a seasonal perspective, experts observed that significant seasonal variations in ID generation. Specifically, they noted that more edits tend to appear during the spring season, while fewer edits are observed during the autumn season. Furthermore, the analysis of the identified and tracked edits in various regions of the North Pacific Ocean revealed that the highest number of edits are generated in the STCC region. Based on this finding and further analysis of the flow field, experts suggest that these edits are likely a result of the interaction between wind stress and ocean currents in this specific area. In the local view, experts closely tracked the life cycle evolution of edits in the Red Sea data set. To illustrate this, we have chosen one particular ID as an example. The tracking graphic reveals that one ID appears at time step 0, while another appears at time step 2. These two IDs merge together at time step 3. Following the merger, this combined ID subsequently split into two separate IDs at time step 5. Interestingly, these two IDs merged once again into a single ID on the very next time step. Following these events, the ID continu continued its evolution without any further splitting or merging with other IDs. The ID 
persisted until time step 39, at which point it disappeared from the data set. This detailed tracking provides valuable insights into the dynamic behavior of these edits within the RACI data set. The tracking graphic and the line graphic pro provide additional insights into the edits behavior. At time step 3, there is a notable increase in the edits radius following its merger with another ID of the same type. Subsequently, the ID radius continued to increase. However, at time step 6, there was a significant decrease in the average radius due to the ID split. After the split and the subsequent merger, the radius remained relatively stable, only to de decrease again at time step 21. Finally, the ID graduate dis dis disp dissipated. These visualizations and graphics help depict the dynamic change changes in the ID size and behavior over time, offering very valuable insights for further analysis. Furthermore, by selecting the corresponding node on the tracking graph, we were able to observe the local streamline characteristics at the corresponding time and conduct a detailed analysis of the streamline at time step 4. The floor lines in the green area had not, had not yet formed a, a distinct ID structure, but some of the floor lines exhibit different floor patterns. At time step 5, the ID had begun to split and the center, central core of the new ID had started to take shape. Finally, at time step 6, the split process was essentially completed, resulting in the formation of two separate IDs. These observations of the streamlined characteristics at the different time step provide valuable insights into the evolution of ID structures within the flow field. In our data storage consideration, for a single time step, we only uh, require 498 KB of storage space to store an image with a solution of 4,160 multiple uh, 1,600 pixels for the North Pacific region. Comparatively, when saving the corresponding streamlined data in VTK binary format, it necessitates 381 m of storage space. Regarding time performance, the time needed to save the corresponding image is 0 0.974 seconds, where storing the corresponding streamline file takes significantly longer at 9.533 seconds. Considering the generation of narrative text, we trained a total of 8 RNN models with varying layers to meet different text output requirements. On average, the accuracy rate of text generated by these models was 90.336%. In summary, our approach introduced a narrative viral analysis approach rooted in essential techniques, which enable efficient and swift extraction and concentrate of temporal features. Furthermore, it led to reduced data storage requirements, rapid interactive performance, and comprehensive analysis of temporal characteristics. Thanks for your listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.